Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I am showing you my new Roman Schmal paints and brush. I bought these when Jackson's Art had a special offer on all Roman Schmal products. I bought the Pascalino Fracasso set last year and you can find my video about this in my art review playlist. And with this out of the way, let's have a look at my new colors and the brush. I found that there were not enough red colors in this set, so I have ordered a few more. So this one is Perilyn Red. Then I've got a green, this is a phthalo green blue shade. And a, another yellow. There are quite a few yellows in that set. But I wanted to try the Aquarius Yellow, their own specific creation. Then I think this is Indigo. No, no, no. This is a color called Misty Morning. Then we have, I think this is Payne's Gray. Yes, Payne's Gray. This looks like a magenta. Yes. And last one is Aquarius Red. Then I also bought, as it was an offer, uh, one of their brushes. This is a round brush, small synthetic squirrel. I haven't used it yet. And I also invested in a color chart. You can actually download them for free. This costs only 13 pence and I think it's worth it because it's small, easy to store, and it looks much better than if I would print it out on my own printer. So they have quite a lot of colors and they keep adding to them. And there you have it, this is what I bought. I will um, take them out of their packaging, label them, and then I will get swatching. So these are all now labeled, and I will later put them in my box, although I'm not sure if they will fit. This is the box I have at the moment. And what you notice with all of these is that the paints um, are quite sticky because they're made with honey. And this is what happens. It sticks to the paper and I will probably reuse the color that's on there because it would be a shame to waste it. Okay, let's try and swatch these and I'm trying this new brush as well. So see how that works. The first color I'm using is Aquarius Yellow. It's a very bright yellow. Pretty much like lemon yellow. Next color I'm trying out is um, magenta or magenta. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. That's a lovely color. Pretty much like the rose, uh, the um, permanent rose, I think. Then we have the misty morning, which is color I've never tried out, which I think is a creation of Roman Schmal. How can you find that anywhere else? And let's see what that looks like. So so it's like a grayish blue. Oh, 
Then we have Perlin Red. Halo Green, blue shade. And this is the Aquarius Red. It's a lovely color. Nice and saturated. That could work well, very well with a robin. And the last one is a rather sticky Payne's Grey. These are all the colors. Let's see what it looks like when I um, try some mixing. Let's just mix the yellow with the Aquarius yellow with the Aquarius red so that I need something to mix on. Try the same with um, the yellow and the pyrrolin red. There you have it. I will label these and then I will also put these in my metal box. Hopefully I can fit them all in and label my box. The colors are now dry and what I have noticed is that the misty morning has a slight violet tint. I think this color could work very well for winter skies and shadows. I really like the Aquarius Red. It is a bright and vibrant color and a great addition to my current Roman Schmal paints. The brush is a good size for smaller details and holds enough water for longer strokes. It also keeps its point. As I have feared, not all of my paints fit into my metal tin, so now I have to find a small tin for my paints grey. I am very happy with my purchase and I will have to make time to play with these paints and see what I can paint. The brush is also a nice addition to my ever-growing brush collection and the color chart is handy to have. If you are interested in trying out Roman Schmal paints, I would start with just a few basic colors 
for your favorite colors and definitely try those colors that are named Aquarius. Jackson's Art also sells basic sets. My other tip is to wait when these paints are on special offer. I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have a question, please feel free to leave a comment and if you want to support this channel, you can do so by liking, sharing and subscribing. You can also donate via PayPal. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. Happy painting. Until next time.